everyone. Happy Saturday and happy chocolate for breakfast day. I'm so excited to be here, even though you can probably hear in my voice that I've came down with a little bit of a cold last week. And so um, I'm just still getting over it. My body's healing up. And um, and so anyway, I am here to celebrate um, with you all with a little bit of chocolate in the morning to have pleasure and um, help kick this thing to the curb, right? So anyway, if you are happen to join me live, I would love if you said hello in the chat box. Tell me what's going on in your life. Tell me what you're celebrating if you feel like it. Tell me about your favorite chocolates um, or whatever it is you are celebrating with. Um, because if you don't like chocolate, like I said in the past, you're a little crazy, but um, that's okay. You can celebrate with something else. Celebrate whatever your pleasure is and make sure you have it, um, you know, throughout the day, not just at dessert time before you go to bed, right? Wake up and start your day correctly. <laughs> that sounds so formal. That sounds like my mom was a teacher and she would say stuff like that. Like, you know, instead of getting in line, she'd be like, let us proceed. Um, anyway, so I would love it. I'm looking right now in the chat box in case someone says hello. Oh, Jay's here. Yay. Hi, hey, hey. What's up? What's up? I'm glad you're here. Um, hopefully you are. Looks like you um you are. Looks like you are. Yay. So welcome, Jay. Um, I would love to know what you're celebrating. So um, today, you traditionalists out there, you're going to like this breakfast because I decided to do something a little, a little uh, more traditional for my breakfast. And the reason being is um, we have, I grow tomatoes every year. Every year I grow tomatoes out in our garden. And we have like the smallest little garden because our backyard is actually mostly shaded, which is awesome for us in the summer because we have these huge trees in our neighbor's yard and they keep our house pretty cool, which is kind of awesome. But that means there's no sunshine in the backyard most of the afternoon. So um, our driveway is a really great place to grow um, our garden. And so I grow mostly tomatoes because that's what I love to eat, um, especially fresh tomatoes. I mean, organ tomatoes are amazing. And I always try different um, varieties. Like every year I try um, something new. You know, I usually do cherries because I like them the best. But um, I try different varieties and see what ones I like best. And every year there's always like a favorite, right? There's always one that, you know, just grows really well. And even if I grow maybe the same one, you know, from one year to the next, like one, it might be my favorite time and the next time it might not be my favorite time. And so anyway, the point there's, there's, I'm getting to something. This is actually relevant to chocolate breakfast. So, um, so last week we were just talking about how it's pretty much time to pull out the tomatoes. Cause like it's mid October, uh, the tomatoes are pretty much done. Um, and really it stays nice in Oregon. It's kind of like a little secret people don't know. It's really stays nice in Oregon, like through mid November. So our summer really does go through October. And um, it really stays really quite beautiful. Usually it doesn't really start raining horribly until like kind of mid-November. And so, um, so anyway, so there are tomatoes, but the tomatoes are pretty much done. Like it's pretty much over. And I was talking about my favorite tomatoes this year. I was like, oh yeah, my favorite tomatoes are those ones, those chocolate ones. And it hit me. I'm like, oh my God, the chocolate tomatoes, of course, are my favorite because it's their chocolate. Um, so it cracks me up. So the reason why I think that they're called chocolate is they get this sort of, um, it's hard to, I'm sure, tell on the video, but they kind of get this brownish color because what happens is they're really strong and like the green or like some kind of a hybrid version that has like a green tomato mixed in with like a, um, a red tomato and it gets this sort of like chocolatey looking color because it sort of mixes the red and the green on the vine when they're ripe and um, they're really, really yummy. Uh, they just have a really awesome sweet flavor, but not too sweet, and they're nice and kind of firm. They're great for salads and for one of my other favorite breakfasts besides chocolate, which is I love to have egg on a salad. So I typically, what I usually do is I take just some really yummy greens and I put some tomatoes on it, and then I um, toast up some. I love toasting olive ciabatta, excuse me, <coughs> and um, and then just take a fried egg. And then I put a little bit of, um, you know, olive oil and vinegar, and it's like this gourmet breakfast. It's absolutely incredible. I'm telling you guys, it's an amazing way to have eggs is just to put a fried egg over a salad and then take a toasted ciabatta. And I, like I said, olive ciabatta is so yummy. And it's really, really good. So I'm just going to have a bite while it's fresh and hot. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really, really good. And I actually would have never thought to put oil and vinegar on my egg. I just really did it one day on the side because I was having that ciabatta and I wanted to, you know, rub my ciabatta in the olive and um, olive oil and vinegar. And um, anyway, I see Sherry's here in the chat box. Yay, welcome Sherry, I'm glad you're here. Um, and so anyway, I and all of a sudden it was like, ooh, the olive oil and vinegar started moving into the salad and into the egg and it's all super yummy and delicious together. So 
That is my chocolate breakfast. It is pretty much my standard breakfast. I usually actually wake up and have either tea or coffee with a like a real bite of real chocolate. Um, usually it's one of my favorite missionary chocolates or I have a new favorite Theo. By the way, Theo chocolate makes these new little bites that have like quinoa and um, coconut and turmeric in them and they're like these tiny little bites and so they're really perfect for, for breakfast because you can just have a bite and um, have it with my tea or coffee and then I usually like get some of my morning routine done, a little bit of writing or whatnot and then when I'm hungry I make myself usually eggs and salad um, for, um, you know, for more, a little more sustenance. So anyway, that's it for my story. Um, I see I've got another guest in the chat box. I am creator, I think. I need to put my glasses on, which I will do shortly. Um, so I'm so glad you're here. Welcome, welcome. So um, uh, like I said, I apologize for being a little late. I um, got up this morning and worked out for the first time in a while because I had this horrible cold, and it's which is now getting healing because I'm moving around and getting things moving. And, um, and I just kind of uh, took a shower before this right before this broadcast like I really took a shower and got ready quickly which was awesome so I am celebrating hot water and showers is there nothing better than hot water guys I mean when you like want a hot shower it feels so dang good and hot water is awesome for baths I love taking baths and um, and I absolutely love um, hot water in my tea it obviously helps make coffee so um, hot water is an amazing, like, it's like a miracle. I, it's, it's like hot water is, and that's how I feel this morning because that hot water felt so good. It feels so good when you have a cold. It kind of gets you going and, and makes you feel like a normal person again, I swear. So anyway, um, you can tell I'm, I still have a little bit of wet hair going on, but um, that's the awesomeness of, um, you know, of, I don't even know what. <laughs> of showers. So that's all I say. It's the awesomeness of showers. So that's the first thing I'm celebrating today. The second thing I'm celebrating today is health. I'm so excited for feeling healthy again. Um, the hot water helps me feel healthy again, but I know that my body's healing and getting better and better and I'm loving it. And so I'm celebrating health and thank goodness um, that our bodies have this amazing immune system to help us heal. And, and I think it's always good to rest, um, take hot showers or baths, and take good care of your body with a little bit of chocolate and other pleasures. Um, and then also move. I think moving's good. Like, don't stop moving because it helps your body process all that stuff. So, but not too much because your body needs needs a little loving. That's what your body needs when you get sick. So, um, so anyway, I'm celebrating health. And then the third thing I'm celebrating today is I am celebrating challenges. Um, and the reason I'm celebrating challenges is because Evan Carmichael challenged me last week to, um, do 30 days of videos, one video a day. And so I will talk more about this tomorrow when I start my first video. So that's kind of exciting. And um, so when you guys see my first video, I'll talk more about it. But uh, I am celebrating challenges and how it kind of helps motivate you a little bit. And I know this is that's what started this whole chocolate for breakfast thing, right? Is he challenged me to do a um, a gratitude thing every morning. And so I turn it into a chocolate for breakfast celebration, uh, a little bit of twist on uh, what he suggested, but that this all got started because of his challenge. So, um, so cheers to challenges and celebrating that too. So let's see what you guys are celebrating in the chat box. You guys are chatting away. I'm loving it. It's so great. Um, let's see. Uh, so it looks like Jay is celebrating hot, delicious, well-brewed coffee. I, I love it, Jay. I'm a huge fan of coffee, although I haven't had much lately because I've been having um, a lot of tea. So um, anyway, I'm a big fan of coffee too. Wireless technology is so freeing. Hell yeah. Uh, I think I celebrated that last week. So yeah, I'm with you there. And then clear, calming, deep breathing. Oh, that's a, that makes me just you know, want to breathe deep because breathing deep is so amazing and awesome and healing too. So I love it. Um, and it looks like Sherry is iffy, but you're still on there, Sherry. So I'm glad your new Wi-Fi router is working for you. That's awesome. Um, and yeah, can you believe that, Jay? Chocolate tomatoes. And it didn't even hit me. Like, I've been eating them all summer long, and it's like, you know, it isn't until I'm about to take them out of my garden, and I'm like, oh my god, that's why they're my favorite. They're chocolate tomatoes. It's so awesome. Um, and uh, looks like Sherry is celebrating the grandkids today. Love it. Um, and she's celebrating YouTube, a must on how to when remodeling. Oh my God, YouTube is like so amazing. They have so much great stuff on there. Um, I know I'm looking forward to doing a little bit of YouTube watching today too. Gonna get some 
some tips on um, making videos. I'm working hard to improve my videos every week, so I'm going to be doing a little YouTube too. And nap time for kids, and also Sherry for you. Nap time is so awesome. I didn't used to like naps. I'll be honest, I was that kid who never napped. Um, I was the adult who never napped. I usually actually used to get headaches after I napped because I'm like, oh, I don't want to do this. But um, now I like, I totally appreciate the power of a power nap. Um, taking like that, you know, 15 minute nap. They say it's a really great length, and I agree. I think it's a perfect length that makes you feel rested, and then you can get going again without having that headache. So um, anyway, and um, I am greeters here, a greeter, I don't know if it's greeter or greater, I think it's greeter. And I know I've seen you before on Evan's channel, I think I am greeter, so I'm so excited to have you here, thank you so much. Um, and it's so, it's so nice to see someone new in my live chat box. Um, and looks like, I know there's this thing that's been going around, Sherry, this cold thing, and I was telling myself, that you know, I wasn't gonna get it because I it's, I rarely get sick. Like it's like when I get sick, I usually go to the doctor and I always laugh at me like, "You just have a cold." And I'm like, "I know, but I don't get colds." <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, I have been blessed to not get sick very often, but uh, this thing hit me hard. I've been watching other people get sick, and I've been like, "Nope, that's not gonna be me." And it did. So, but cheers to healing quickly and fast, right? Um, and uh, oh, it's greater. So it is. It is great, greater, looks like. Greater is how you say it. I'm greater. Um, hopefully, I have that right. <laughs> and I love it. He's asking how he can make 50 grand a month. And um, Jay's answering that you give a lot of value to humanity, which I totally agree. If you want to start making money, you start celebrating what you have. Celebrate with something you love, with someone you love. Have a little chocolate or whatever your pleasure is. And have fun. And have fun. And and give value. I mean, I think it's got to have both, right? You got to be having fun. You got to be giving value, and uh, and then celebrate all the little things. I'm, I'm telling you, because otherwise your focus is going to be on all the other stuff that's really hard. And there's going to be some hard moments. It's hard to, you know, start your own business. So anyway, um, uh, anyway, I know Jay's like uh, trying to be giving the pronunciation of I am greater. I'm hoping I have that right. Uh, I am greater, or I am greater. I think it's greater. Uh, you're like a tar gray tar. I am gray tar. Is that what it is? Um, I don't know the, the nuances uh, So anyway <laughs> if you um, if I'm greater if you want to feel free to put in the chat box that it'll be up for a little bit longer you can tell me if I'm saying it right and then um, otherwise I would say um, in the comments you can always uh, make a comment after this video um, is goes up after the re you know goes into the replay, and you could always do that too. So I would love that if you let me know how to pronounce your name. So if you join me again, I would I can say it right. So I really appreciate you all being here. It's uh it's an awesome Saturday. I'm looking forward to eating the rest of my chocolate tomatoes. I did actually have some chocolate chocolate. I had that Theo chocolate that I was talking about. Um, so I'm having chocolate and and chocolate tomatoes. For breakfast today so I am starting my day right people and I'm kicking this cold to the curb all right uh, I'll let you guys go thanks so much for being here really appreciate it and um, like I said before I encourage you all to go celebrate with something you love and have a lot of pleasure in your day all right thanks you guys we'll see you next week for another chop for breakfast bye